Hello guys, welcome back to your English class. Today I'm going to explain you the topic We'll have to or we'll be able to Now, we're going to check what is the difference between uh, this We have for example the first one, we'll have to It expresses obligation in the future For example, you have to say I will have to study more to pass my test It's an obligation in the future And we'll be able to it expresses ability in the future. I will be able to speak English fluently in one year. Okay? In this case, it expresses an ability that you can't reach or you can get in one year. Okay? Now, here we have the structure for the first one. We'll have to. The sentence is, I will have to study more to pass my test. You have to start with your subject, obviously. Are you with a or he, she, it? Plus, auxiliary will. It's your tense. Now, the modal verb have to. And the verb in infinitive is the simple verb. And your complement. Okay? Now, if you want to write the same sentence but in negative, you can say, I won't have to study more to pass my test. Okay? Now, won't. Is the contraction for will not okay you have you can say I will not or I want whatever you want okay now what about will be able to I will able to do a speak English okay now you have your subject again are you with a or he she it plus your auxiliary verb your tense your ability, in this case the phrase to express an ability, be able to, your verb and infinitive, and your complement. For example, you have, um, I will be able to speak English in positive way, or negative, I won't be able to speak English. Okay, and again, will not is a, is a contraction, you can to say won't. Okay, now. Let's practice this part. We have the first exercise and it's about obligations for future. Now, we have in this case six sentences. The idea is you have to complete them with the right verb, but they are obligations for the future. And you have the verb believe, tell, call, read, work, and do. Okay, for example, the first one I think you the book if you want to understand the story. I think you will have to read the book if you want to understand the story. Number two, I would go to bed early, but I can't because I will have to do my homework. Okay. Number three, she, if she wants to have money, she will have to work if she wants to have money. Okay. Number four. You, what he says. You will have to believe what he says. Number five, she, her parents, she can't lie to them anymore. She will have to tell her parents and because she can't lie to them anymore. And if you are ill or sick, you will have to call a doctor. Okay? Now, as you can see, this topic is very easy. You have to write, will have to, will have to, will have to. Maybe a negative, won't have to. And what is the important part? The verb. If you don't know the verbs, you can't practice or you can't complete the sentences. You have to practice your verbs. Read, work, believe, it is, it is. You have to practice different verbs. Okay, now we're going to continue with another activity. We have in this case five sentences and we have next to and uh, different verbs laugh drive answer make and go and you have to write future abilities okay future abilities that you can get but pay attention some of them are positive and some of them are negative you have to read them you have to read the whole idea and then you have to decide what would be the right word for example, in the first one it says, one, I got cake if I have all the ingredients, okay? It's a positive way. 
So I will be able to make a cake if I have all the ingredients. Number two, they to gym, they are too tired. They won't be able to go to the gym because they are too tired. Number three, I'm so sad, I won't be able to laugh. Okay? Number four, he, if he doesn't have the right address, he won't be able to drive, to drive, sorry, if he doesn't have the right address. And finally, the last one, if you study your maths, you will be able to answer the exercises. Okay? Now, pay attention. As you can see, you have uh, three sentences into a negative way. You have to read the whole idea and you have to be careful if your sentence is in positive way or negative way. And don't forget to practice the verbs. It's very important to practice your verbs. Okay? Now, to finish this part, we have the last exercise, the exercise on your book. What are you gonna do? You have seven sentences and you have to complete it maybe with will have to, an obligation, or with will be able to, an ability, okay? The idea is you have to read the whole idea and then you have to check what would be the right sentence. And that's all guys. Um, I hope that you're okay. Thanks for watching this video. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.